Hey guys, me your host, Super Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got the brand new Rick Grimes Walking Dead action figure from Diamond Select. I am really happy, happy to have this in my hands. It arrived whilst I was away in Orlando, but I'm, I'm happy to say it safely arrived here and I've got it now. And uh, yeah, very excited to jump into this one. So let's jump in and take a closer look at this awesome figure. We also do have to say a big awesome thank you to Diamond Select for sending this through to us completely free of charge for review purposes. That's very kind of them. So thank you, Diamond. Um, this is Rick Grimes from the Walking Dead comic books. So this is based on the comic books, not the television series, and is in black and white deco to match the original comics. Flipping this around, you can also see that in Wave 1 we do also get Michonne, which I do have and we will be reviewing in the coming days. And here's a little write-up about the figure. The figure was designed designed by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by May um, Thamatrana, I think that is how you pronounce that. I may have got that wrong, I do apologise. Uh, let's have a look at the little write-up. Rick Grimes is a Kentucky deputy who wakes up from a coma to find that the dead have risen and now walk the earth. Eating those who lay in their path, joining with other survivors, he becomes their leader, only to find that the biggest threat in the world is not the dead, but the living. Who will stop at nothing to take what they need and uh, need and protect what is theirs. Grimes must struggle to keep his humanity intact while trying to keep his family and friends safe. So this is a one-tenth scale action figure of Rick Grimes based on his appearance in the Walking Dead comic books and graphic novels. It features multiple points of articulation and a variety of accessories. Okie dokie, let's break him out of the packaging and take a closer look. We've unboxed it, we don't keep boxes around here so we give it a yoot! See ya! And back down to the desk, here he is guys, out of his packaging, looking absolutely awesome. I'm loving this figure already, let me just zoom this up a little bit so you can get a better look when I bring him forward. Look how awesome the detailing is on this figure, I am actually loving the black and white. It does look really good, because there's almost like hints of colour, I know there isn't, but it feels like there is. When you're looking at it, you can get that noir feeling, you know there's colour there, it's just greyed and blacked out, it, just, it looks awesome. Loving the expression on the face, very stern expression here, I do like him without the hat, but we do also have an alternate head here with the hat, which I think is going to be the probably look I'm going to go for more. Uh, that is more Rick Grimes to me with the hat. Um, but yeah, we need to we need to have a close look at this because he's also got uh, two open palm hands here, as, as you can see, and he's got plenty of accessories and spare hands in this set to play with. He has got lots of rips in his jeans as well, which is really cool. I like that look. Um, and he's got a holster here with where we we'll, we'll put the gun in in a minute. Articulation-wise, the head's on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down with tilting left and right as well. Plenty of little movements in there to sort of make him, uh, you know, animate him and stuff. You can make the arms lift up here as well as outwards. Uh, mine's quite stiff, which is good, and you can rotate at the elbow. There's also an elbow hinge. Uh, hands are on little uh, joints as well, so you can move those around quite easily. They can also move in and out. Um, you've got a nice um, crunch there at the abdomen, which is cool, so you can crunch him backwards and forwards on that crunch. And then there's also the... is there a waist swivel? Nah, you're just going to use the ab crunch. There's no waist swivel that I can see. It doesn't feel like there's one there. Legs are on hinges, though we do have the top hinge here at the top of the thigh, which is nice. So there's plenty of rotation there, and there's single hinge knees that also rotate, and the feet are on rocker and pivot. They do have display peg holes, should you wish to use display base. I've not had to yet. It feels very sturdy, that it's not like a loose fig. Um, he does feel very stiff. Um, he's fresh out the box though, so I might come back to that in a couple of days and I'll let you know how he's still going on, because I'm going to do lots of posing with this. I've got lots of zombies that I think would look cool opposite this. So I'm going to do some definitely some diorama shots this week using Rick Grimes, and I'll make them all black and white just to add to the aesthetic. He does come with with extra hands though, including bandaged hands, plain hands, and uh, all that good stuff. So there's plenty of different things you can do here. Like say you've got grab hands that are open palm grasping hands, um, as well as fisticuffs, and all that good stuff, and extra shooting, trigger shooting gun fingers. Both wrapped and not very cool. And like I say, he does come with the other portrait, so we're going to try and pop that on now, because I think that's the head I'm going to use the most, to be honest. So we're just going to give that a little pop. That popped off very easily and nice. And then I'm just going to take this off camera to push down. Ugh, the second one's popped on very easily. That's more Rick Grimes with the hat to me. 
And the best thing about this one is that he does come with his duffel bag as well, just like the comics in the mo in the TV series. Uh, so we can throw that over his shoulder, which is going to be really cool. And that's nice and stiff as well, so he's not, you're not going to lose that. And that just sits up on his shoulder nicely. <coughs> and then kind of to go with that, if I just move his arm out a little bit, pop that on. To go with that, we do have a multitude of weapons for him. Um, so let's take a look at those. So to go in the duffel bag, we do have a giant shotgun. I do like that. And it's all, again, they're all grayscaled. But there's a lot of detailing on them. Looks very good. I like the look of that. So we've got the shotgun, which will go in there. We've also got his, um, I don't know what you would call this. Um, no, I can, it's not an AK, is it? But an AR, is it an AR rifle? Uh, but they've got one of those, a rifle of some description. Machine gun. Uh, so that's cool. And that has its own strap as well to go on his shoulder, which is nice. The straps are stuck to the weapon, so you can't take those off. But that is a very nice piece as well. That's good for other action figures as well, because I love that. Um, is that going to go in? Yeah, I just have, to, just have to fold in the strap a little bit. But it will go in. Uh, so that's another one for the for the for the, uh, the ammunitions bag. What else we got? We've also got a hatchet, an axe hatchet. Again, all grayscaled. But very cool, like the little notches in the end on that one. And of course, we've got his trusty sidearm. We're going to put that in his holster. That is the that is the Rick Grimes weapon right there, isn't it? It's cool to have all the other ones, but to me, I think I think the best I think the best weapon is going to be the I'm going to, the one I'm going to use the most is going to be his sidearm. Obviously, being a big fan of the TV series and stuff, that's going to be the weapon I'm going to portray with him the most. So I might need to trade out one of these, this hand here, uh, for a gun hand. So let's see how easy the hands pop out. Ah, nicely. Okay, very easy, and they've got the little stalks on. So we can pop that off, and we can plug in a nice trigger finger. So we've got the bandage trigger finger hands. Do we have to keep it trigger fingered? Yeah, there's no other, there is another trigger finger hand, but it's for the other hand. So we do have to keep this one. This is always going to be a bandage on one side, sadly. Um, would have been cool to move that, but meh, it is where it is. But you can put another one on the other side, so you can't even have him dual wielding or whatever you want to do. I'm going to swap out this hand, because I'm not a big fan of just having him just randomly gripping air. So let's change that for a bit. We might have a bit of a grab hand, or we can even go with a bit of a clenched, fisty cuffed hand. What should we go for? We'll go for a bit more of a, an action hand, so we'll use that one. At least that's a bit more natural when you pose it. And then we can get the we can get the gun then, and then pop that in his hand. Ooh, that's very stiff. Okay, let's bend that out a little bit, heat that out. And try and slide that in before it. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to work that finger in. There we go. So we've got a bit of a classic Rick Grimes cowboy look. <laughs> Very cool indeed. Overall, a beautiful figure. Really like this one. Honestly, it is definitely up there for me. This is going to be a good collection. So thank you, Diamond Select, once again, for sending this through to us. Completely free of charge for us to review. Really appreciate it. It is a top figure and i cannot wait to get michonne out of the box to get her to join him as well and let's not forget they have just announced negan as well so we're going to get more of these figures very soon and i'll I'm, I'm definitely adding them to the collection either way because that's so cool man guys what are your thoughts on this figure let us know in the comments below these figures are available right now at Diamond Select. So go check out the Diamond Select website or your nearest online retailer. I like to use um, comics and cocktails, props and replicas, all those good guys out there. So go check them out if you're in the UK. They're the ones I recommend. And uh, definitely grab yourself a Rick Grimes because he is awesome. <laughs>
But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video today, then why not smash that subscribe button? Subscribing really supports us and really helps us out and helps us to keep making more awesome videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the toys be with you. Bye!